Thanks to BGW fans, we now have a new site plan for Bush Gardens Williamsburg's 2025 coaster. But the big question is, what type of coaster can we expect from Bush Gardens Williamsburg? Is it the long-awaited, rumored RMC Hyper Hybrid coaster that supposedly is going to be even larger than Iron Gwazi, or is it something else entirely? Could it be a Giga? Could it be the Dragon Spire concept that was a few years ago? Is that back? Welcome to Theme Park Predictions. My name is Brandon, and I'm going to share all my thoughts about this with you. So let's have some fun with this because Bush Gardens Williamsburg. They're going at it. I mean, they're doing really a lot of great things as of late. And with Pantheon opening up and now Dark Coaster. And then, of course, we have 2025's Coaster. It's time to get excited because I really feel like this ride's going to surprise a lot of us. And here is why. I do not, as of now, think this is the RMC Hyper Hybrid anymore. And that really does sadden me because all the rumors that was... For Busch Gardens Williamsburg was a brand new RMC hybrid coaster making its way to the old Dragon Fire plot of land. And if you're not familiar with this area, this area has looked pretty much like this now since Dragon Fire, the old arrow looping coaster, was demolished around like 15 years ago. Uh, so this area has always been rumored to get a brand new themed area, potentially to Spain and or a new coaster. And at one point, the rumors before COVID was to have this massive intimate coaster cover all of this area plus the plot of land where Pantheon was to make one giant coaster. And then the plans shifted a little bit and then Intamin was going to provide two coasters for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, uh, one being Pantheon and the other one being Dragonspire, the 365 foot I believe, but unfortunately those plans obviously aren't really around anymore so that project was pretty much cancelled. Then the RMC rumors came in, hardcore rumors of this massive coaster, Busch Gardens Williamsburg, sent the hype, hype balloons up to measure, I think it was like 222, which would make it potentially the tallest RMC coaster ever built. But then the worst possible thing happened. The plans shifted. And maybe that's because the price tag or there's another new model out that Busch Gardens Williamsburg would rather have over the RMC Hybrid because if you look at Iron Gwazi, it really has done very well for Busch Gardens Tampa. The GP love it, enthusiasts love it, and there's a special buzz around the park because of Iron Gwazi and it's been very reliable and if not down very much, I mean in fact I don't think it's ever experienced any like extended downtime which is fantastic. So I really feel as if that was the plan, that was the smartest plan. And now you see here the uh, site plans and there really isn't any, you're probably wondering like I am, what am I looking at? Because you really can't even tell anything. But right here is the station for the new coaster. And if you look really closely, and I mean really closely, you'll see some footers. Now two people have sent me some mock-ups as to the potential layout following the footers and as you see here they look very interesting and the first thought might be this doesn't seem very large or very like an adult friendly coaster maybe it's more of a family ride and while that family ride and while that very well could be these layouts if this is similar to the actual layout I mean it's more of an out and back style of a coaster so what does that mean? Could that be a family coaster, something like SeaWorld's getting down in Orlando, like Penguin Trek? Could this be a new B&M family launch coaster? I doubt it because Dark Coaster just opened up, and that's a family coaster and a multi-launch coaster. So what about a family B&M inverted coaster? Something like Phoenix Rising down at Busch Gardens Tampa. Now, I was kind of questioning that move because we already have Montu down at Tampa and then why get a brand new B&M inverted family coaster? But after seeing the renderings of Phoenix Rising, I'm all for it. It's going to be a very good ride and the park definitely could benefit from that. I think Busch Gardens Williamsburg could definitely benefit from a ride just like that. I just don't think 2025 should be that year. I really feel like this plot of land is better suited for a mega coaster 
just because there's so much room out here to do anything, basically anything Bush Gardens Williamsburg wanted to do with this area, they could do. Now the good news is we're not going to have to wait for too much longer because BGW fans and parkfans.net they do a fantastic job of breaking down these blueprints and I think it's safe to say that we can all expect to see a potential layout from them that's going to be pretty much on par with the actual ride very soon, potentially any day now. So fingers are crossed with that. Now as far as the coaster types, we already talked about the family coaster types if it's a B&M. Busch Gardens Williamsburg could definitely benefit from adding a larger scale coaster here in 2025 because we know King's Dominion is rumored to be getting a new B&M wing coaster that's launched in 2025. Virginia is really about to be the place for all of us to go in 2025 and I'm all here for it. Now here's something very interesting and that is ever since these site plans were leaked a lot of people are saying mock rides could be involved with this project. I'm all for that. If you guys follow the channel, you know Mock Rides produces a fantastic coaster, whether it's a multi-launch, an extreme spinner, a hyper coaster, or their Big Dipper, or their new striker coaster like Voltron over at Europa Park. I'm all for this. Uh, Mock Rides, it's top quality. In my opinion, Mock Rides is probably the best overall coaster company out there as far as rewritability, uh, maintenance wise, reliability, uh, and just making sure the ride's going to perform at the top of the line and everything else. So I know Carowinds is, was, has, has been ecstatic with Copper Red Strike and other parks that have installed Mock Coasters. They all pretty much say the same thing. It's a great company to work with. With that said though, the only downside is the price tag. Mock coasters are some of the most expensive in the industry. So will that stop Busch Gardens Williamsburg from working with mock rides? Who knows? I could also very well see this being an intimate. But here's really something that's kind of intriguing. Is this area of the layout right here or the blueprint? It's hard to really make up as far as what this could be. Is it gonna be some crazy looking inversion or like a tight, tight hairpin turn? or a spike, I, I'm not really following this in this area. I don't really know, but I, what I do know is it's very intriguing. I just don't know what type of element could this area be. If it wasn't for that, and just looking at the blueprints, I would honestly say this looks more like a GCI wooden coaster, or something like Mystic Timbers, more than a steel coaster. But with Invader being at the park, I do not see this being a wooden coaster. So from knowing what we know now, I do not see this being an RMC hybrid, unfortunately. Could it be a single rail? I mean, potentially, that would be really cool if so. Could it be an, another RMC coaster that no one really wants to talk about? Uh, the T-Rex, I mean, there's a slight chance. I, I could see it, I said in past videos, Busch Gardens Williamsburg is one of those parks that very well could build one of the first, if not the first, RMC T-Rex if and when RMC ever makes it available. If I had to guesstimate with this layout, I think honestly we're only looking at around 2,800 to 3,000 feet of track. So it's kind of small, which is unfortunate. I'm hoping that this is not accurate and it's actually a lot larger than what it, we're seeing here. But from what we know now, from what we can see now, everything is just speculation. So whatever they get, I'm happy for, but it's a new ride, it's a new coaster. I want bigger, taller, faster, but it probably at this point, knowing what we know now is not going to be, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now with 2024 coming up, here are 25 things that I predict will happen in 2024. You do not want to miss out on this video. With all that being said, please share your thoughts with me regarding Busch Gardens Williamsburg's new site plan for Project 2025. And of course, remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.